Okay, so can you tell us about where you are here now? Where are we? Uh, in Sidatau village. In Sidatau. Is this your house? Yes. This is your house. This, uh, okay, this is my house. Yeah. And who do you live with? Okay, uh, every day. Oh, I'm sorry. This is my house. And I'm very happy to stay here. Mm, I think this is my house is not very big, not very small, but it is simple for me. Uh, I live in this, in this house. Uh, I live with my father, mother, and my young sister. Every day we usually uh, cleaning this house and uh, get job like uh, like uh, we give food for uh, for fig and and others. So you've got some pigs here. Oh yes. Yeah. How many pigs? Uh, I have two. Two pigs. Uh, Very good. Two pig family. Excellent. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And do you have any clove trees here? What? Chunke. Oh, clove. Yes. Uh, uh, I have, but not very much. Okay. Only, uh, I think only 20 trees for okay. clove. Okay. So how many kilos would you normally get from 20 trees? Uh, mm, on every day. Uh, in, uh, one, in one season's crop? Oh, in one, one season? Yeah, out of 20 uh, trees. Only 30 kilo maybe? Yeah, uh, it's not very much, is it? Uh, yes, no. it is very much. Because my, this is very small, not very big. Yeah, small okay. land. Mm. And I also hear the price for cloves this year is really down. The clove, young haga untuk chanke, oh. taonini turun sekali. Yeah? Yes, uh, only, what is that? Lapan blas, uh, one, yeah, mm. sekilo. Yeah. Yeah, so we're just confirming again the price of cloves is crashed and the price is $1.80 a kilo, which is terrible, very bad. And on this land, they've only got 20 trees, so they don't have very much income from cloves, but what they used to get is now less than a third it was before, so that's not good. So you've got pigs, what else, how else does your family make money? Uh, Pigs, cloves, apalagi. Uh, only that? Any basket weaving? No. No, you don't basket mm. weave here. No. Only that. Okay, right. Very good. However, you don't go to school nearby here, do you? You go to school a long way away. Uh, at a special school called Mandara School. Yes, Is Man. Is that true? Yes, Man Bali Mandara. Yeah. Uh, do you want to tell our friends about Mandara School? Uh, okay, uh, after I get study from St. Peter Buka, I'm sorry, uh, junior high school, I can study for senior high school for Sman Bali Manara. So you got a scholarship there, didn't you? Uh, a special opportunity to go there. You were yeah. asked, you were invited to go to that school. That school? Yeah. Do you mean to under ikut tisana? Uh, from myself. Yeah. Uh, from myself. Dari sekolah itu, do you mean to under ikut tisana? Tidak biasa untuk anak ke sekolah itu. Tidak setiap pun anak bisa oh. tisana. Ada yeah. istimewa aja, ya? Yeah? Mm. Mungkin okay. bisa kasih tahu untuk itu. Okay, uh, from that school, we need uh, like this, not not uh, have very much money, not have a beautiful house like this house, yes, uh, maybe we can get study there. And there we, we usually uh, get, uh, get very much study for every day, yep. hard study, yep. uh, because uh, we have the school. Uh, the school has uh, the big name in Indonesia, yeah. Sman Bali Mandara. Yeah. So, the Bali Mandara School is an elite school. 
it is dedicated to people from disadvantaged backgrounds, but they do need to be to have very high level um, intellect, great ability at school, and good leadership skills. So it's a school particularly dedicated to developing leadership and and exceptional skills amongst the students, and it does it very, very well. And um, Agus had a BCF has a BCF scholarship, which is uh, he's on a Bali Ball scholarship, which is fantastic. But his education, his schooling is free. However, to go to the Bali Mandara school has quite a few costs. So the scholarship looks after his living expenses and his transport to get to and from the school, which has to occur during a semester. Now, at the moment, the school is closed because of COVID. Oh. And you must be doing online learning. Only, uh, yes, classroom. How, yeah, how mm. do you do online learning? Okay, uh, every day, uh, we had Monday on Monday, from Monday, uh, until Saturday, we have studied from online. Uh, we studied from Google Classroom. Yeah. And every day we get three materials. Three classes uh, that you yes. do every day. So how do you get them? Have you got internet here? Are the internet to see any Wi-Fi? Uh, no, only... So bagaimana untuk access informasi itu? YP about YP, uh, we can get uh, far, very far from this. Okay. We we can get um, there. Yeah. Very far from this. So, do you use a motorbike to go to get the Wi-Fi, or how do you get the Wi-Fi? Um, we can get uh, only three thousand for one hours. Okay, and you go on the motorbike. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So how f how long does it take you to get there? Mm, maybe. Is it ten minutes or fifteen minutes? Oh. Uh, Half an hour. Uh, maybe twenty minutes. Maybe. About twenty minutes. Mm. So it's still a fair way to go and get the internet, and the internet is still quite expensive. It's three thousand an hour. That's thirty cents an hour. Remember we talked about those baskets earlier that two days work provided five dollars. So if you're spending 30 cents an hour on internet for classes, you need a budget to cover that. Now fortunately Agus does have a budget because of his scholarship, but so many students in these hills don't and uh, they, therefore they can't do their online learning. The families just do not have the money.